Okay guys, this is my video of how I went from this bald spot to basically growing my hair back. And I'm just going to show you guys some stuff I used and you know if you're having the same problem, maybe you can use it too. This was a result of a bad install of a weave. It was too tight and this is the results after growing my hair back. That's me pulling the little spot that was once bald. So hope you guys enjoy. Bye bye. Okay, happy Sunday. I'm back and I'm here to talk about how I grew my hair back when I had, you know, the misfortune of having it taken out or whatever. So, um, my hair, when I found out that my hair was ripped out, it was in September and then I went into complete, like, grow back mode. And from September until, until now, basically, I've been growing back my hair. And these are the things I help that helped me actually grow back my hair so some of the things i have with me because they're just in my house and some of the things i'll show you like pictures of so the first thing that i used i like ran to the store and i bought this it's called organics on the spot and you can buy this at your local beauty supply store this was ten dollars but um you know basically it says anti-breakage strength and nourishes the roots well, there was no roots to like to strengthen because my hair was just completely bald. But every day I would put this right on my spot, which is in here. You know, my hair is out today, so I can show you guys, like, you know, the before and after pictures. So, yeah, I would put this every day. It would tingle a little, but hey, if it ain't burning, it ain't working, right? Right. So, uh, the next thing I used was this ORS hair fertilizer. And um, this also tingled, which I love. I just love stuff that tingles. Dr. Miracles tingles a lot too. And um, this is basically after I would wash my hair, I would put this in it. I would put this whenever I felt like crying again. I would just throw it in on the spot and, you know. Okay, and before I would wash my hair, this is what I would do. I would go to sleep with my hair deep conditioned. So I would deep condition my hair overnight. And I would use this hair mayonnaise. Not this ORS, I use this, but this other thing, I think it's called African something. It's also, it looks like this, but it just says African something on it. I think, I'll show you the picture. But yeah, it's treatment for damaged hair. And um, I would put this in my hair, wake up, wash it out. After I washed out my hair, I would wash it with like, you know, um, I would wash it with this. And this is just um, Cantu Cream Shampoo. And it was really to keep my hair moisturized. <clears throat> and so, for my spot. Now, I would use this Home Remedy. I don't know if my sister came up with it or maybe... I don't know. But, um... I would use this. This is an aloe vera plant. I wouldn't buy, like, the aloe vera juice, whatever. Because I don't like all those extra stuff in it. So, I would just cut off a piece... And I would always be scared, so I would just cut off these little prickly things because I was scared to, like, scratch my head or anything. And then I would put one, like, one little, smells so good, one little clove, I don't know if that's what it's called, of garlic. So that, the aloe vera plant plus the garlic, I would put it in the blender. And sometimes I throw egg in it or whatever, and then I would put it in my head. That burned so bad, but I was just like, you know what? Whatever works. And um, I did this for like, I think like two months. And um, I think, oh, and I also have this avocado oil. And this is also from like, oh, please don't look at my nails. Oh, girl. This is also from um, Beauty Supply Store. And I also had um, almond oil, which smells really good. Sweet almond oil and um, rosemary oil. So I would put all those things in my hair. And also, I bought this. My mom bought this other thing for me. I think it was really expensive. It was like $15. It was like on the spot. But um, I'm going to put a picture of it also. And that, I feel that really also helped my hair. So it went from, like, I'll show you pictures, like little scrubs and bald spots to like, you know, this is it now. This is all that it is. But, you know, whatever whatever works, right? That's the motto. So, this is my hair today. This is like a little... I'm, I've been natural for... I've been natural for a year now. So, 
trial and error. And I'm, I'm a weaveaholic, so I hardly wear my hair. I only wear my hair out in the summertime. So um, this is really different, trying to find different hairstyles that work for me and stuff like that. And um, this today was like a bantu knot. I'm blown out here because I don't like when my hair is like wet and dry. It looks weird. I have like 4C hair, so it's a little, it's a little different. From the big voluptuous curls I see on YouTube but yeah so this is what I did to grow back my hair and I would also I don't know anytime I just felt depressed I would just you know depressed about being bald I would just um massage my head you know that gets the blood flowing so all those things and now I feel like my hair has grown a lot and I'm thankful and hopefully it will you know grow out and I would never have to experience such a horrible experience like that again so those are the things I used and um oh and I also did protective hairstyles. I'll slide and I put some pic I'll put some pictures in about some protective hairstyles I did that um I just left it alone. I, I didn't pull at it, I didn't do anything. I just put it in protective hairstyles. When it was like long enough to braid, I went to the um the Africans and they braided it beautifully for me. And um yeah, I just kept it, just kept it, yeah. So that's why it's like this now. Thank God. Thanks for watching. Happy Sunday. Okay, guys. So this is the stuff that I used to grow back my hair. The hair mayonnaise. I will leave this overnight. The next picture is the hair drops. I would use, you know, when I would just feel a little bald. Just throw that in there when you're sad. It worked. And I use Dr. Miracle's, Dr. Miracle's follicle healer deep conditioning treatment. It felt really good. These are some of the protective hairstyles that I did by myself. This is the crochet method with Marley hair. Uh, this other picture is also the same, and I just left some hair out so I could put it up. Um, the next pictures, uh, three pictures, are just of another crochet method with free trust water weave. And I like this hair. It was cute. Um, I couldn't leave it in for too long because it would make me break out on the sides, but that's just me. But um, a month or so was a good way to leave it in. And um, the next two pictures are of me having in a weave, and I only kept it in for a month, I think, or at least three weeks. And the top of my hair was left out, and I used the straightening system. I have 4C hair, so it worked, and I did have no damage, so thank you, Lord. And the last picture is of me and my braids. My sister in the background, thanks for watching.